Hi, thanks for watching Data Source TV. In this video, we're going to cover Informatica Data Services. It's Informatica's data virtualization offering. Basically, data virtualization is going out to many different sources and making them look like one uh, in, in an agile sort of way. It doesn't uh, replace ETL, it augments it. Uh, traditionally, business users have had to wait for weeks and even months to get access to new data sources. With 20, the 24-hour business cycle these days and increased competition, having the correct data quickly can give uh, your business uh, the edge that needs. Um, so we're going to kind of go over um, an example and kind of go over what data virtualization is. Um, about 10, 12 years ago, this is a typical ETL. A uh, developer's job is to pull from a one source system or multiple source systems and um, insert that data into a data warehouse. Pretty simple and then there's reports based upon it. These days, a data integration team is not only pulling from the, the sources put into a, a, a data warehouse or data marts, it's also pulling from cloud services, pushing to cloud services to you know places like Salesforce uh, and Amazon. And you also have you know parts where you're pulling from a cloud service and putting it to it right to a third party. Your data going right to a third party. So there's a lot of different kind of stuff going on here, and the ETL teams are just getting backed up. A business has a new cloud source or a, a new database that they've brought up or new vendor, and they need to be able to pull that data quickly. They cannot wait two or three months, uh, which is typical. They need to be able to get that data now, and that's why data virtualizations become so popular, is because they provide a front end tool for you to go out there and quickly grab all these sources together and then present them as a virtual table and then get your report writer to write some reports against it. So in our example we're going to take company A as purchase company B and the HR department quickly needs to see all the, um, all the different employees in both companies. So we're going to create something called a virtual table that's going to join these two things together, um, two tables together. Then here's our steps. We're going to first create our physical data sources from two different databases. Uh, there's a logical schema that we're going to build, just going to call it HR. And a logical schema is, if you think of a database schema, it's a logical schema. So we have an HR log logical schema, and there you have logical tables. For instance, employees, um, timesheets, and that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to create a mapping to tell Informatica how we want to populate this virtual table. Then we're going to create a data, data service and then an application. So the first thing we want to do is come into the Informatica developer tool and this was released with uh, version 9.0. Um, first we're going to create our physical objects which I've already done. We have an Oracle database which is our employee new east and a MySQL database which is our, our employee new west. From there we create something called a logical data object model which is I've called it HR. And so in here you would have different mul you would have multiple virtual tables. Our first virtual table is called V employees. And this is going to be a join between those two different physical databases. I'm sorry, physical tables. So we come in here and we define what we want this virtual table to look like. So it looks just like a regular table. Employee ID, first name, we, we give it a primary key and everything. And so this virtual table needs to be defined how are you want to populate this. Well, there's something called a mapping down here. So if we click on that, I've already got a mapping built out. So we're going to read from each of these tables from different databases, different heterogeneous databases. We're going to pull it into an expression here. For example, the new East only has employee names. So we're actually going to parse out the first name and last name for that. And then there's also some columns in here that um, certain tables don't have, like the West has um, some information that the East doesn't have, uh, for example, like education. And so we're going to bring this information in. We're going to go into a union because we don't want to join this data together. We don't want to, we just want to be able to quickly present this data to the HR department, all of the employee information. So we're going to come out here and we're going to populate uh, the V employees table. We also have something called a source. So our source is uh, going to be east for our east table and then west for our west table. So we'll be able to know, uh, the HR department will be able to know where this, com this um, person resides on the east or west. So that's it's pretty easy. You can create a, a mapping. If you know Power Center, it's not that hard to figure out. What's nice in the developer tool, you can click on any any uh, of these mapping objects and click on the a data viewer and run it. So you can see in real time as you're building a mapping what the data is going to look like. And this is this is pretty big for for developers. So here's the data down here. So I've created my uh, my logical data uh, table called vEmployees. Now I want to present this out. I want to create an application for it. So I go create something called a data service and that data service is based upon this table. 
and then I create something called an application. An application is where I'm going to present it. And then I right mouse click on application, I deploy it. So it's going to deploy it actually in the admin console. So if you come into this new tool with nine called uh, new service called uh, data integration service, there's an application tab over here. And so here's my data service out here called HR and they actually give you a JDBC URL. So Informatica with data services provides an ODBC driver and a JDBC driver for all your tools, your MicroStrategy, all your reporting tools, Excel and everything. So now we're ready to go. We have this table sitting out here. So I've downloaded Squirrel Client and I've installed the driver and I've installed a connection called InfoHR. So we're going to go ahead and connect to that. And this is actually connecting directly to this data integration service. So we're connecting to Informatica. So usually when people think of Informatica, we're pulling from someplace and putting it someplace. There's nothing there, but we're actually connecting to Informatica. So we actually have this V employees. So we're going to run this query. It's going out there, and it's running that mapping right now. So it, it pulled that information back. So if we come back to this mapping, I just said select star. So it goes here and runs this mapping in real time and presents this data out here. And one thing quick to note here is if you come down into the uh, information here, you can actually turn... Uh, that's actually down here in the virtual schema. It's here somewhere. I can actually turn caching on. I think it's actually at the table level, sorry. V employees, you can turn caching on. So if this is kind of a complex mapping and you don't want people to hit this thing all day and r run a lot of data, you can have this thing, you know, refresh every 10 minutes, every half hour. So this way they're going to go hit the, uh, this thing's going to run in the background. So they'll have that data to them, you know, virtually instantly. So now I have this this table out here. So let's go quickly. Let's uh, jump into uh, let's jump into Excel, and we're going to go to data from sources from Microsoft Query. I have a uh, ODBC driver set up for this. I'm going to put in my username and password. It's going to go out again, connect right to that data integration service. It's going to run that mapping and present my data out to Excel. So it's going to say, hey, oh, here's your review employees, here's all the columns that I want. We'll just go ahead and hit next. We don't want to do any kind of sorting or anything like that. I just want to present the data out to Excel. So this is actually going and querying the data right now. And it's going to ask me where I want it. It's going to ask me again for my username and password. Give it a second here. So now it's running that, that mapping as we speak. And there's our, there's our information. Pretty neat, huh? Real quick. And just for, for sake, I'll go into Tableau. I'll connect to a new data source, an other ODBC. And I'll go down and connect to my, uh, I call it InfoHR, 32-bit, because this thing is running in 32-bit. We'll go ahead and connect. It takes a second to connect. All right, there's all my information. It's asking me what tables I want. So if I come out here, and I should only have the uh, V employee table because that's all I've created so far. And if I hit OK, it's going to say this driver doesn't support all the native connect the features of Tableau. I'm going to connect live, so I can come out here and say, okay, I want gender, and I want salary. So that's all we have. It's uh, it's pretty easy to quickly get data out, and if you're familiar with Designer, even if you're not, it's pretty easy. You you define your tables, you drag them out here. It's very power center like, where you can do full manipulations. You can do lookups, you could do unions. You could have uh, if you add a transformation, you could see all the different things that you could do. Java. Uh, decisions um, aggregator so everything you do with power center you can write a full mapping here and the best part about this is that even if this is just a temporary data fix for something so you have a new a new data source that's come online you connect to it you present this out you report developers writing reports against your data service while you get this into the ETL queue so what's nice is I can take this whole mapping here and I can export this right into Informatica to power center so I can connect right to a power center repository and dump this mapping in. So I'm done. I don't have to re reinvent the wheel. I don't have to rewrite this mapping in Power Center. I could take this thing and once, I, let's say I'm going to make this V employees a real table in my data warehouse. Once that gets out there, I can turn this into a real mapping and let this thing run, you know, once a day or something like that. So um, that's all we have on this. If you want any more in depth demos or uh, if you have any other questions, please contact us. We're glad to help. Thanks.